Hello and welcome back to another in another video. Today we are talking about Tropical Storm Newton, which has formed in the East Pacific and is now, I believe, the 14th named storm of the East Pacific hurricane season. It has definitely been a active one in the East Pacific and this is one of the reasons why this is a very small storm, but still packing 60 mile an hour maximum sustained winds, 1,000 millibars central pressure, and west-northwest movement at 7 miles per hour. And Newton is expected to remain at tropical storm strength, moving past some of the islands in the Pacific off the western Mexican coast, and eventually form back into a tropical depression sometime on Sunday. Now, this storm is projected to stay in between the islands, so no landfalls, but there is a strong chance of receiving tropical storm force winds on some of the islands off the coast of Mexico. So, uh, this is a very, very small storm. You can see in the wind history here, this is up to 65 mile an hour winds. And it's just in this very small area. And that is shown here on the satellite imagery. Newton is very, very small. And it is nearing Socorro Island. There is Socorro Island right there. There is Newton. Let's get that little message out of the way. And you can see that the outer bands are starting to make their way into the Socorro Island area. Now, the storm itself is fairly well formed. Typical tropical storm. Uh, type of convection in the center as well as the outer bands around the edges just on a smaller scale again a very small storm and the track is pretty well set it's going to pass the coral island take a turn towards the southwest around 48 hours from now and that is very consistent across the gefs model the geps really doesn't have much information and the euro doesn't have much information either now, our intensity guidance is showing the storm on the downturn. It is at 60 miles an hour now, and in the next three days, it will most likely be a tropical depre depression. Sorry about that. It will most likely be a tropical depression three days from now. So here is the HWRF hurricane model showing this storm. Now, getting very close to Socorro Island, you can see here this is... Uh, 8 a.m. Eastern on Friday, you can see that the inner eye wall of the storm is basically hammering Socorro Island, and the storm buzzes right past at 11 a.m., and by 2, it is on the back end of Socorro Island and starting to move away, as well as disintegrating. Uh, it is going to start to weaken at this point, nearing that 20 degrees north parallel. It gets torn apart here, starting that drop starts right around 11 p.m. on Friday Eastern Time. So the storm eventually starts to drop off in millibar counts. Well, it goes up, but drop off in strength and eventually starts to deform here uh, by Tuesday into Wednesday. Now, at the same time here, we have some stronger winds in the area. And let's actually try and do this. So, as the storm is passing by Socorro Island, the maximum sustained winds on the island itself should be right around tropical storm force. Right around that 40 miles per hour sustained. And the total rainfall... For the island, I think we have to use this here. Total accumulated precipitation here. There is Socorro Island. At least a half an inch to an inch of rainfall expected across the island. So, definitely a small storm, but is impactful. Especially if you live on Socorro Island, uh, vacationing on Socorro Island. It's definitely going to have a major impact there on Friday. Tropical storm force winds are going to be sustained, not just gusts, sustained, as well as a lot of rain, as well as surf being very high. Your typical tropical storm scenario there, but 
Small storms still can make an impact, and that is definitely what we are seeing with Newton here. But that is all the information that I have for today. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell. But that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.